in general, just even beyond these side events. We have singles starting tomorrow for both Melee and Ultimate. I think we even have a Rivals bracket going on too. You, yeah, of course, believe, though, would know more about yeah, that Yeah, I believe so. There is a Rivals bracket. Yeah. I was actually speaking to Darai, one of the players. I was probably going to win this event, actually, funny enough. So, you know, funny to see him as well. Uh, but yeah, either way, uh, I'm kind of confused on how it works. If it was, was it round robin in pools? Because I'm pretty sure we saw Light lose to Shu earlier. Um, I think this is, oh, this is winner, is this winner's semis? Right. Oh, okay, well, I'm not sure then, honestly, it may, they, if they have the same format for this. I, I need to look at the bracket really fast. Either way, uh, DJ Don rocking Are there two double lights? me and Steve. No, this is the same one, Yoshi, yeah. Alu, yep. Let me, let, me, let me get to the bottom of this really fast. Hey, man, either, maybe Light had a second life in, in bracket. <laughs> is it round robin pools? No, it's not. Let me look. Um, oh, so that actually wasn't light earlier? Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, well, barring some confusion, we do have DJ Don versus Light here. Light, you got rocking the Yoshi, rocking the Pyramithra, and the Palutena, while on the side of DJ Don, we've got two Miis <laughs> and, and, Steve, and Minecraft Steve. This guy didn't even like Nintendo. You, talk, <laughs> you, said, you said Menace for a reason, and I agree with you. The kid, that's actually a good point. I didn't even like Nintendo. You know, you like Nintendo, bro. He's just, play, he just playing, you know, Steve Same and characters. a couple Miis. <laughs> Fair enough. And interesting to see what kind of loadout the Migano would like, you know, likes to pick out. Going for the charge shot kind of esque uh, move, and oh man, you can't run into me, bro. What a call out for yeah, a reason, awesome. yeah. <laughs> That's such a that's an annoying move to get hit by, you know, too. It just lasts so long. Multi-hit forward smash is like, you take so much damage. You're like, just let me out of here and play already. That up smash be scooping you for, yeah. for That up smash has, uh, it's gotten, it's definitely seen its day okay, at, it is at Santa Claus. Okay. Yeah, there were a number of times in uh, in doubles where DJ Dawn, and I think maybe there was even another uh, Me Gutter like player who have really been showing what the character can do and specifically showing exactly what, um, you know, some of these more underrated characters with these moves are all about. For sure. Okay, we're seeing, yeah, it loses round four, uh, so there's no second chance for light. Uh, gotcha, except it loses okay. this, and maybe we can do something. This would be a good win if you can get it over DJ Don, but I'm telling you, bro, this lineup is disgusting. You know, having to deal with that as Yoshi, uh, all these projectiles can be so daunting. Opting for the grenade on the ground, uh, you know, so you can't really approach on the ground, you have to approach from there. Yoshi loves that. But, of course, all these anti and and the charge shot as well, uh, from DJ Don's B gun, that can be so, uh, you know, Disgusting to deal with. This is like kind of kind of a Samus uh, like uh, build up for for me gunner, right? They got the charge shot, yeah, the grenades, yeah. the missile as well. Like you know, uh, definitely Samus esque. Just want to be Samus with Cloud Nair and uh, in a baby version of Snake Up till I'm with you. <laughs> but. Yeah, I mean, regardless, Light's still hanging on here, able to get that stock finally with a shield poke look like from back air, but obviously DJ Don answering straight back with a thrupper. And it's like, this is the thing, is like, okay, you got rid of the gunner, now you got to fight the brawler, and yep. if you get rid of this, we're going to Steve territory. We just go up a level every time, you know, sometimes these story modes yeah. be hurting for a reason. And you know? Steve is such an insane anchor, I think, Oh, he's as well. Uh, apart from being DJ Don, I assume they're main. It's, yes, a, it's, a, it's a character where it's like, you know, obviously you're not thinking about diamond for multi stocks like how you are in singles. Uh, you're thinking about just like, what can I do in this one stock? Like really like consolidating like the entire Steve game game plan, expediting it if possible, and just taking a stock or two. Because if you do get that diamond and you get it early, it can be devastating to deal with in squad strike. Because if you take a stock, you have about five or six seconds to mine yeah, between sure. character respawn times. So and, yeah, the thing is that's a really good point. Having to mine between uh, stocks even even longer mm -hmm. for sure. I have to watch yeah. out for that a lot of things. And I just feel like you know winning your first stock against Steve takes a while in general. You know, obviously exactly, you can come back yeah. against the character, but it's really hard to win a stock versus the character, you know what I mean? Because they just start off <coughs> excuse me, so strong. There's so many things they can do. You know, sets up the block and the anvil straight away. Uh, it's kind of, you know, get the game plan out, up tilt, uh, no block and up smash. <laughs> so it's funny, man. Just things like that. <laughs> Man just walked up, up tilted, and <laughs> hopped on the block for the up smash. Yeah, I mean, I guess if that's any uh, any indication of DJ Don's Steve as opposed to his other characters in terms of how strong they are, I would be very scared. About it. Like, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> this is the first neutral interaction on the characters. Like, okay, this game's over. And that's, that was just the first game. You know, what's to come later on? Uh, this me gonna me brawler and yeah. Steve lineup uh, seem to be very very hard to kind yeah. of deal with i mean with that being said though obviously light did take two stocks i mean it's the same as what we saw with shu definitely someone who can contend with these higher level players but it's a question of whether or not he can actually close out the game absolutely and now light opting you know to dip into the darkness himself you know opting for the end man uh, on his anchor maybe maybe start off maybe the second character who knows uh but dj don staying unchanged on his team yeah, i'm curious to see where light actually puts the steve and really 
where DJ Don puts it. If it stays as an anchor, I think that makes perfect sense for DJ Don. No, he's actually going to uh, be going... F oh, wait. Um, no, the enemy man is second. Yeah, yeah, so... Uh, and DJ, I think, starting off with the Steve this time. Yeah, it looks like the Alex coming out first and then Light leading with the uh, Palutena this time. And I think of all the characters, I think uh, I think Light is, is, is pretty happy to start off with this Palu. Uh, I think she has a decent matchup going in against Steve. There's some things she can do, obviously some things she can't exactly do uh, safely, but there's definitely some things you can do to kind of mitigate uh, Steve's game plan. Of course, it's very hard to get that character uh, stopped when he wants to start. Yeah, we're seeing really just a lot of back and forth here from these two characters. Obviously, neither one wanting to commit too much. Both have access to devastating combos. Yeah, DJ Don finally going to go back. Get a little bit of an upgrade there on the tools. Iron out to play now. Where's that? I can tell if that's iron or stone. <laughs> uh, either way, it's a strong move. Regardless. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, I honestly feel like oh that stuff. God. That stuff is so fake. Sometimes I feel like stone, iron, and gold are like all the same thing. Except <laughs> gold's faster. Like, but and having to watch out all these fast errors. Talk about fast. And wow. Okay, the up to gets out the way of that, but still has the, the the block into down smash. A lot of tricks and traps coming from DJ Don. Uh, Light doing a good job kind of escaping the jungle, escaping all those booby traps to make sure they can kind of keep it even ground. No stock's been taken just yet. Yeah, still waiting on this first stock to take away because I mean, again, as we said last game, it can be very instrumental if uh, if DJ Don is just allowed to mine here after taking the stock because then you're dealing with a Steve with Diamond and a, a player of this caliber is going to be very careful, not going to expose themselves to uh, to much risk and they're just going to play until they can make use of that Diamond. I think oh, we're going to wow. see, yeah, on the gold pickaxe now, definitely going to be able to get the Diamond off one, but they no, actually like just running up, doing a forward throw, mining a little bit themselves, looking for the back air here. Might kill with wood at the edge, but it said no, DJ Don going to take a quick 50. Uh, Steve Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah, I just love... Uh, Honestly, one thing I kind of noticed about DJ Don is he doesn't go for back air, back air, or back air, like kind of chase with dash air. He goes for back air and keeps you with the up air to bring you back into the combo. The hitbox extension that from the diamond sir, back air. Oh my god, yeah. but never mind. I'll never forget uh, how you know good Steve is everywhere. Of course, he's gonna yeah. survive things like that, but just yeah, the application that DJ Don's using <laughs> this is the goofiest looking thing I've ever seen. It will kill too, it will kill the ever like the absolute whatever out of out of light if you were to step in there with the power rails with that being said though uh finally moving on to the me gunner here and the steve's dead yeah for dj don yeah one problem characters out of the way you just got to deal with two more of them but of course now you got enderman on your own time like i said dipping into the darkness yourself understanding that you know what if i gotta beat the best i gotta play the best as well steve just does it better than any other character look at that smash right there already building damage on this me gunner yeah, Light actually not only manages to get the diamond, finds a, an, an interval to actually mine it, which against the Steve player is pretty impressive. I mean, I feel like if anyone's going to know how important it is to keep you off that, it's going to be a player like DJ Dom. The sure. Light holding it down, really, really hanging on here to this stock. Needs to find a big opening and take an early one. Ooh, the, the missile, though, almost taking it. Minecarting back in. A nair from... Okay, interesting to see a nair from DJ Dom there instead of a backer. He looks so confident, but not, just not being able to close out the stock quite yet. Mine? <laughs> yeah, I don't see kills marks on that move before. Whichever, whatever it's called, that down beam move just not getting yeah. the kill until now, finally exploding them. Uh, and DJ Don gonna keep the lead going. Now, Light is on his uh, last character, but this definitely seems to be his yeah. best one. I think, I think this has to be his main. Yeah, from, for sure. from uh, the two sets that we've been able to see, uh, all the information we've been privy to, I think the Yoshi is definitely the one that's done the most work. So if it's not his main, it should be. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, down tilt, gonna click and put him in there. Looking for the up air catch, just couldn't find it. No net either. And now, Light can build some damage. Maybe put it on the me brawler and get his oh back. Oh, yes, what it does. Good egg, the egg well. scramble, yep. man. Yeah, love that. The egg into the up air there to actually take out a relatively early stock. I mean, earlier so than most of them that we've seen in this game. Too. Oh, oh wow, the last of the thrupper though. Great spacing, honestly, from DJ Don, and the confidence to pull that out too. Just. Again, I wouldn't have expected that. That hit me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and that's the thing. A really a big habit of Yoshi players in general is, you know, kind of like, not exactly abu yeah. abusing, but always wanting to land aggressively because they have yeah. really good air drift and they have big buttons in the air as well. So you obviously you want to make sure, but of course, you can't challenge, like you said, the frame three. Thrust. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, even just going off what you were just saying right now, I think a lot of Yoshis like take the just the air in general for granted. For sure. Like we're having the double jump armor, having some really high priority aerials that can contest a lot. Um, it's it's you know interesting to uh, see a Yoshi player just be like kind of unprepared to actually be contested in the air from a move like that thrupper, which frame three and I believe has invent some type of invincibility on it too. So I mean, if there was ever a move that you were going to go for against the Yoshis in the air, it would have to be that one. But you know. Also, really, really uh, smart and just cerebral of DJ Don to sort of pull that one out when it mattered most right there, which was mm -hmm. before uh, Light could find another one of those devastating Yoshi combos. And no Steve, even though I think he did pretty well, the Enderman, uh, but no, just going up for the Wario. I remember seeing the Wario 
in the first time we watched of Light, this, and it did pretty well. I was right? gonna say this this Wario, it definitely had the combo routes. Like there were like, yeah, this, this yeah. Wario was pulling strings on on shoe definitely. Um, like cross stage, starting at one edge, going all the way to the other one. But I mean, as we said, it's like this is definitely a player who like who has the sauce. But it's like we need to see them actually uh, actually close one out because yeah, it, 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 still, somewhere. it still hasn't happened yet. So one in the pool having the bottle of sauce, but you know you got to put it somewhere. Yeah. Okay, we're seeing up air. No more, no further pressure. Okay, this should be a yeah. Two up airs there. Already 64%. I forget how much damage Mario does, but he does a lot of damage. That big nair coming out, contesting DJ Don in the air, making him respect that airspace and keeping him in the corner even still with that bite. Yeah, he really wants you up to pick up. You know, we are on PS2. You make one mistake on these platforms, you can get dragged up there, and the fucker will be coming out in a vicious mood. Gets past the bike as well, but of course you see uh, Light doing a good job spacing around these short hops, right? Making sure that you know you're spacing at the back end, you can't approach me safely. I have to find out a different way. DJ Don just barely managing to make it back into the uh, center stage here, and wow, actually just the, ripping the up smash out of shield straight away to take away uh, that first off from Light. Like yeah. I, I, I was gonna mention, I think he was getting a little bit too. Uh, I guess, you know, antsy with some of those aerials on shield. It looked like he just really wanted to get rid of that stock with the back air. And I was wondering if it was going to be an up out of shield, but eventually it ended up being that up smash. Just really, really uh, unfortunate, I guess. Risk reward. Oh my god, great reads as well. Making sure on the platform can't be safe and shield. Have to press a button if you want to beat that grab. You're going to take so much percent. Yeah. 20% each time. We're looking for the third up air, maybe for that threat kill. Just can't find it. Look at the damage already. So, bro. It's kind I mean, of spiraled I, out of control. I'm not going to lie. I know DJ Don is probably a Steve main, but this brawler is looking immaculate oh, right yeah. now. That falling up air string, if he had, if, actually, if he had, I think, a little bit less rage, he could have gone for another up air into the thrupper, for sure. which would have just taken the stock. But, I mean, still, gets the stock without with little trouble, falling, unfortunately, to the meat gunner. But this gunner definitely has some stuff, too. So oh, the, the, just, the gunner has been so annoying yeah. in, in these scramble situations you have to watch out because what DJ Don wants to do with the Migana which I really like puts the missile on the ground so he forces you into the air of course characters like Yoshi said before time and time again they love that option but of course he's anti-airing you a lot of the time with charge shots with grenades you know with the up tilts the nares you know making sure you, it's a no-fly zone for Yoshi for this dinosaur yeah I mean and honestly just like the sheer array of like punishment that light has been subjected to yeah. across all three characters is just insane because I mean you think about squad strike as a mode where it's like oh I'm gonna play like all sorties or I'm gonna play like you know something these are three characters that are all very different from each other on Absolutely. the part of DJ Dawn and they're all so well practiced and they're definitely you know they're not just squad strike characters like this is something I think could be could be pulled out in the right situation for Absolutely. Sure. so again you have to hand it to someone for having characters this well practiced Oh my <laughs> god. Was definitely looking for the roll there to end this with the with the up tilt, but light again, I mean, if there's nothing else you can say, it's that this is someone who knows how to hold on against this higher echelon of talent here. There you go, watch out, gets one dunk, couldn't find it, too early percent, and now this is where DJ Don has been uh, the most big, the biggest terror, right, with this Alex. Yeah, light just really oh I love the command grab there. Defying the expectations of DJ Don, no doubt. How are we gonna get through this wall? Are we gonna be able to even, you know, get another neutral in a, oh no, okay. Not actually taking it there. Great DI from Light. Went straight to the corner. TNT in the middle. Yeah, hidden, hidden cleverly like under, <laughs> under. Wow! Uh, wow. He actually, actually did hit the platform like that. there. Wow! I can't believe that's how that set ends. Things are looking so intense there at the end, but Steve 